Today we're going to paint coffee filters. This is a super fun and easy art activity for all ages and it involves painting coffee filters with watercolor paint and watching the paint spread across the coffee filter. It's a fun process oriented art activity that really explores the process of painting the, the coffee filters and watching the paint spread. But it is also a great way to create fun papers that can then be used for a variety of arts and crafts activities. Let's gather our materials. So for painting coffee filters, you will need white coffee filters that are the basket type, not the cone type. And you will also need either liquid watercolor paint and droppers, if you're going to use that method, or a watercolor paint palette and a paintbrush, or washable markers and a small spray bottle of water. Let's set up for success. To prepare for the best possible experience with painting coffee filters, you'll want to protect your work surface, and you can do this with a waterproof uh, art mat or tablecloth. Let's create. To paint the coffee filters with liquid watercolor paint, simply use a dropper or a pipette to transfer the liquid paint from your small dish over to the coffee filter. And then watch it as it spreads across the coffee filter. You can continue to add more paint, more different colors if you like, or you can start with another coffee filter. When painting with liquid watercolors and droppers, I like to paint two or three coffee filters at a time stacked up because there's so much paint to absorb. Set your painted coffee filters aside to dry and paint some more. To paint coffee filters with a watercolor paint palette, simply use a paintbrush and transfer the paint to the coffee filter and continue until you're finished. To paint your coffee filters with the marker technique, use a washable marker and draw a design on the coffee filter. And then take a spray bottle of water and spray the coffee filter, wetting it and allowing the washable marker to spread across the coffee filter, creating a paint-like effect. I hope you enjoyed painting your coffee filters. Now here are some arts and crafts activities that you can use your painted coffee filters to create. You can make coffee filter butterflies by using the painted coffee filters as the wings of a butterfly and then perhaps a wooden clothespin for the body of the butterfly. You can create a bunting with your coffee filters by folding each coffee filter in half and gluing the folded coffee filters along a string. You can create sun catchers with your painted coffee filters. You can either tape the painted coffee filters directly to the window and watch the sun shine through them or you can use the painted coffee filters much as you would colored tissue paper and cut or tear the painted coffee filter into pieces and then press it to transparent contact paper or sticky back plastic and then hang that in the window. You can also cut 
painted coffee filters, into snowflakes, into doilies, into hearts, into butterflies, into spider webs. Coffee filters are very easy to cut and make especially good snowflakes for that reason. They're easy to cut and yet translucent and also relatively thin um, but sturdy. You can also use your painted coffee filters for collage and for mixed media art. You can glue pieces, you can cut or tear your coffee filters into pieces and then glue them to paper or combine them with drawing or painting for a mixed media effect. Have fun with your painted coffee filters.